Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will discuss about vitamin D. It is very important vitamin and its deficiency is very common. So do watch this video. It is also known as cholecalciferol. Interesting things about vitamin D are that it is a nutrient as well as hormone. And it is a fat soluble vitamin which means it can be stored in our body in fat cells. So from where can we get it? Sunlight is the most important source of vitamin D. Vitamin D is the only vitamin which humans can synthesize if their skin is exposed to sunlight. Beside that we can also get it from red meat. Egg yolk is also very rich in vitamin D. We can also get it from cheese. For vegetarians, mushrooms are very rich in vitamin D. Fish is also very good source, especially cod liver oil. But if still vitamin D from these sources is not sufficient, then you should consider vitamin D supplements or fortified foods like cereals, milk or yogurt. So why vitamin D is so important for us? Because it absorbs calcium from intestine so if vitamin D is low, calcium absorption is also low leading to weak bones and teeth. It is very essential for maintenance of our bones as we talked above. It plays important role in proper functioning of immune system protecting us from getting sick Other functions are BP regulation and secretion of insulin. So who is at risk of having low vitamin D? People who are less exposed to sunlight like those who stay more indoors or those who cover themselves in sunlight. People with dark skin because they can't absorb much. Old age people especially because their diet is decreased. People with liver and kidney diseases because liver and kidney are responsible for activation of vitamin D. People who can't absorb from intestines like patients with celiac disease, Crohn's disease or other intestinal problems. Breastfed infants because breast milk does not contain vitamin D. And lastly, people taking drugs like some antipsychotics, rifampicin or spironolactone. -like so it can result in variety of signs and symptoms. Like pain in bones, myalgia that is muscle pain, arthralgia that is joint pain. Muscle cramps, hair fall, getting sick very often, fatigue, or feeling depressed. Vitamin D deficiency can lead to serious disorders. In children, it can cause rickets. Rickets is softening and weakening of bones causing impaired growth and bone deformities. In adults, it can lead to osteomalacia. Osteomalacia causes weakening and softening of bones and problem in formation of bone, which in turn can lead to fractures. If you have any of these problems, you can get to know about your vitamin D status from a simple blood test that is serum 25 hydroxy vitamin D levels. Now the question is do we need to worry? And the answer is yes. Because vitamin D deficiency is very very common. 
According to a survey, 54% people have vitamin D deficiency, while 31% people have insufficient vitamin D levels, which means only 15% people have normal vitamin D. So to avoid all this mess, we should do some simple things, like having sunlight especially from 10 am to 3 pm. Sunlight is the bestest source of vitamin D. You should have vitamin D rich foods which we have discussed before. You can also use fortified foods which contain vitamin D. And people who are at risk should get their levels checked. But still, if your vitamin D is deficient, you can get supplements. You need to take 50,000 international units of vitamin D once weekly for 8 weeks or 6,000 international units per day for 8 weeks. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to our channel.